Hello, my name is Gino Falico, NXP's Gallium Nitride Fab Manager. I was working in NXP's automotive factory in Austin, Texas. I was the device integration manager and my boss at the time came up and said, hey, uh, there's an outstanding uh, role in, in Chandler, Arizona. Uh, are you interested in this? And uh, that was on a Monday and uh, went through interviews that week and, and really by the end of the week, I uh, found out I, I had the role and on Monday I uh, had an opportunity to meet my new team. Uh, so it was a real whirlwind and uh, it hasn't slowed down at all since. Building a team, that was our first challenge. We had, we're fortunate, we had an, an outstanding team here locally in Chandler, Arizona, an existing team within the company. Uh, and we chose that team really because of uh, the existing compound semiconductor experience. And uh, we, we leveraged that uh, experience and, and expanded significantly from there, doubling the team within the year. Uh, we expanded locally uh, here in Chandler. Uh, of course, we also leveraged our uh, automotive factory right next door here on site uh, to bring in a, a really strong uh, process experience and uh, the total quality mindset. Our second challenge was really the, the fab space and the equipment set. Uh, we had to uh, build the factory and uh, expand the equipment, uh, and we had to uh, define the process flow. So we had to make sure that the equipment set was, was flexible enough for uh, high volume manufacturing and scalability, uh, as well as uh, expandable beyond 5G. Of course, that equipment didn't actually come as we ordered it, uh, all in, in the order that we would have liked. So we were unable to, uh, uh, our initial lots, we, we essentially had to process without some of that equipment and get very creative. Uh, but even given that, uh, those, the incomplete equipment set at the beginning, our first lots yielded uh, pretty well and were pretty close to the specifications, uh, which is a real testament to the RF's teams experience and knowledge of the of the integration and the GAN flow, uh, as well as the uh, process team's uh, processing experience and, uh, and knowledge there. We were on the leading edge of six inch uh, GAN on silicon carbide and uh, that Prevented, presented many challenges. We had uh, initial supply and, and quality issues uh, that we were uh, struggling to get enough wafers. Uh, we worked through those, but there were also vendor uh, challenges with some of the equipment uh, that weren't ready for uh, six inch silicon carbide processing. So we really had to work closely with our vendors and co-develop uh, equipment. We, we had outstanding results on our initial samples, but building a factory is not about a couple of samples. We really needed to make millions of devices. And so uh, we needed to build in quality from the very beginning. Uh, we, we really had a benefit having the NXP know-how, manufacturing know-how in particular behind us. Uh, we're now the sixth internal fab in NXP, uh, and it, that gave us a lot of uh, knowledge to, uh, to tap into as we went through that. Not only on the resource and processing side, but from a system standpoint, uh, we have outstanding quality systems, uh, automated SPC and, and fault detection, uh, and really the ability to leverage big data through machine learning and AI uh, that really helps us identify issues uh, real time. Here, uh, Arizona has been fantastic to me and really the, there's so much to do in the factory. Uh, we're developing the next two technology nodes already. Uh, we're working on uh, continuing to scale up the factory and, uh, and delighting customers. So uh, no, no plans to, to move from here and Arizona's really grown on me. The snowboarding and uh, close by and all of the other wonderful things here in the area. Uh, and really it's just a dry heat.